all is grace. And I understood very well when the three of you chose this to be the theme of your final profession of the vows. When you came down from Baguio after your 30-day retreat, I asked one of you, how was it? A question which led to a conversation. And one of you, during the most difficult part of the retreat, cried out of his depths, Diyos ko, ikaw na lamang ang natitira kong dignidad. I received that statement deep in myself. That can only come from a heart of a redemptorist. Words which can very well had been also on the lips of our brothers and sisters, the poor, the most abandoned poor in this time of the pandemic. Diyos ko, ikaw na lamang po ang natitira naming dignidad. Saint Alfonso said in almost the same vein, Lord, you are my only consolation. Diyos ko, ikaw na lamang ang aking magiging aliw. Dapat sinasabi din natin yan ngayong panahong ito. We thank you, Tita Percy and uh, Tito Johnny, the parents of Brother Ruel. The same goes to acknowledge the presence, the mother of Brother Jeffrey, Tita Esperanza. We know in our hearts that those who have gone ahead of us, the father of Brother Jeff, and my mom and my dad. Baka nandiyan lang po sila katabi ninyo, wag po kayo tatakbo. But them who has loved us unconditionally, who has accepted and nurtured us from child, from childhood, thank you so much. Thank you for all our families. Eternal God, who established the mystery of salvation in your Son and made human beings share in the work of redemption in the Church, I, Jeffrey M. Lozano, Ruel S. Gutierrez, CSSR, Mark Christian Bernardo Antonio, guided by your Holy Spirit, resolve to dedicate myself entirely to you by following closely Christ, the Savior of the world. For this purpose, I now freely choose the Christian life sealed by the evangelical councils by making for life the vows of chastity, of poverty, and of obedience, together with the vow and oath of perseverance, according to the spirit and way of life proper to the congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. And so I bind myself to live faithfully a life of brotherly love imbued with apostolic charity in the same congregation, founded by St. Alphonsus, especially for preaching the gospel to the poor. May your grace, the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and of the whole Church, and the cooperation of my confers, be constantly with me. And I receive you fraternally as a member of the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, professed with per perpetual vows in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sa sa to lang, sa huhusay at galing ninyo, ang dami ninyong pagpipili ang daang tatahakin at magiging matagumpay kayo. Sabi nga ng ate ni Ian, sa wakas, this was for the long haul, and long haul, indeed, is the continuing journey as professed religious. Sa kasabihan, sa Bulacan, nasa banig na ay lumipat pa sa sahig. Perhaps in the Italian way of putting it, Pazzo per amore di Dio, crazy for the love of God. Like Mary and St. Paul, you have experienced how it is to be at the receiving end of the gratuitousness, of the graciousness of God. My dear brothers, to profess the vows and to live by them 
is a life of holiness. And God in His gratuitousness had called you to live that life. My dear brothers Jeff, Roel, and Ian, let love, which is the charity of Christ, be your evangelical motivation behind your courageous pronouncement of the vows. That is the reason why the vows are called evangelical councils, because love, the charity of Christ, should be the motivation behind the person in professing them vows. Caritas Christi Urget Nos. Let the charity of Christ urge you to profess the vows. As you make your final profession of the vows, take courage from the words of St. Paul in the first reading. To boast all the more gladly of your weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in you. Therefore, be content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever you are weak, then Christ Jesus is strong. And I would like to solemnly assure you there will be more of those weaknesses, insults, hardship, persecutions, and calamities. Nada diturbe, solo Dios basta. God alone suffice it. Lahat po kayo, pinapaubayan na po namin ang Diyos ang gumante sa inyong kabutihan. In the end, we are all here because of only one reason. The voice who called us is the same voice you have heard and responded to the very reason why all of us are here today. More than the joy we are experiencing is the reality that envelopes each and every one of us. A reality of love that we have witnessed. And so, the best thank you is to be given to the God of graces, to our Lord Jesus Christ, to the Father. And truly, even in the midst of this pandemic, You have been here witnessing God's love. It is what makes it all a grace. We are here to pray with you, celebrate with you, and to give praise and thanksgiving to God for your lifetime profession of the evangelical councils. We, the Christian community, are here to witness and affirm your profession, to pray with you, and together to ask for the necessary grace as you pronounce that you are redemptorist missionaries. That will be your promise, and we pray that you will always remember. For the Lord indeed remembers His promise of mercy, the promise He made to our fathers and mothers. We put you, Brother Ian, Brother Jeff, Brother Ruel, under the blessing to God's, of God's redeeming love, so that you will make you your promises for life. May all the graces be with you. May the force of Christ Jesus be with you. Amen.